Okay, hello! I'm back again today uh, with my decluttering series and this time I am looking at uh, lipsticks and lip products. So lip gloss, liquid lip, lip pencils, and bullet form lipsticks. Uh, I do have quite a bit in my collection. I didn't realize how much I actually had. Uh, ooh, my fingers are looking pretty. But, um, just <laughs> sorry about the nail issue and the hand issue. Uh, I had shellac and we went on lockdown and the shellac grew out and so I had to pick at it and this is what uh, has become of my nails since. Anyway, so moving on. <clears throat> yes. Okay, so there's lots here to go through. Some of them are like brand new, but I've included everything because I'm just going to like, I don't want to have to deal with uh, trying to have pick through what was new, what was not, uh, in terms of trying to remember. Okay, so let's just start here, right off here. This is the Revlon Ultra HD Lip Vinyl, um, Vinyl Lip Polish. Uh, it's nice. Uh, the color's okay. Uh, I always think I'm going to like these kinds of colors, but I end up not. Um, so just... not really going to keep this around, so I'm going to put that here. This is a little mini orgasm uh, lip. This is actually fairly new. I've never really tried it. It's kind of a nice light. Um, it feels a little sticky. But I'm going to probably keep that, see how I like it. Um, these are the multiples. Oh my god, they even have dust on them. That's how bad. This is Gelato. Is this the one that had the... Yeah, so this is one where that was like demagnetized for some reason, but I love these multiples. Uh, I think they're fantastic for lips, cheeks, and eyes, and they no longer make them, um, and I like it, so I'm going to keep that. You know what? Because I have another one, I'm going to actually get rid of this one. Okay. This is the MAC Lip Glass in Purr. Um, I've had many iterations of this in terms of the packaging has changed. I mean, it used to be super small. I want to smell these because I do find that is my best indicator whether or not they have gone bad. This one I think is still good. This is Purr. So that's my one of my favorites. Very similar to the Orgasm. If this is not good any longer, then hmm, let me just, not too sure what I'm going to do with those, but yeah. This is, okay, where should I keep the keep pile? Where should I put the keep pile? Hmm. This is the lip stunner in, lip stunner, what am I saying? In Unveil, and it's like a deep chocolatey brown. A really pretty color. I don't have a lot of these kinds of colors, especially in liquid lip. Um, this is from Bite. This is part of their Mousse Bouche line. This is neon purple. I'm never gonna wear that. I think it's a really cool color, but um, I'm never really gonna wear that. So let's just get rid of her. And then I, this is another one. This is a whiskey. It's a really pretty dark um, burgundy brown. I'll keep that around because I do enjoy that color. Let's see. This is one of the Fenty Mademoiselles and I think Freckle? Freckle Fiesta. It's like a terracotta. Um, this is the Oh My Gloss. My sister used to love this. This is in Purr Glossy Cat. Um, I mean, pretty shade, but I'm going to get rid of it. Ish. Okay, this is a Wet n Wild Black. I do actually enjoy um, the Wet n Wild formula. Um, I'll keep that around because you always need a good black. Uh, this is a Charlotte Tilbury, what is this? Luminous Modern Matte Long Lasting, this is the Matte Revolution. <laughs> I haven't even, oh it's a cute little mini. This is Pillow Talk. I haven't even used it. Let's see what color you are. I mean it's pretty. Um, let me see if I like the color on and then if not I'll get rid of it. 
just bumped. Sorry. Okay, these are fairly new to me. These are lip stories, hashtag lip stories from um, Sephora. I actually really like the quality of these. They're actually really lovely. This is in the shade Malt Shake. Let's see how closely it resembles. No, that's definitely more burgundy than brown. So that's really nice. They're very creamy. This is the shade Snuggle Weather. It's definitely a yellowy kind of brown. I can't, I'm not going to be able to swatch all of these all, like, it's going to be crazy if I do that. And these are actually fairly new. And then this is Yum Yum. This is more of a ready brown. Yeah. So I'll keep these bad boys for now. See if I, if I get any wear, I may not get much wear of them. Marc Jacobs, this is, uh, they're enamored. I believe they're on sale now. This is Mocha Chocolata, enamored. This is the sticks. I preferred the sticks over to the glosses, but I don't really ever wear this. I mean, it's a really pretty shade, but I'm going to get rid of it. Blondie is another multiple that I absolutely adore. Um, I'm not gonna get rid of that. This is a tiny little one from Burberry. Oh, you're very, like, glossy. Mm, those are the kind of shades I like, we'll see. These are the Oh Sweeties from MAC. Uh, they had like a food centered scent and names. Mmm, that still smells really good. That is uh, Devil's Food Cake. Oh, Death by Chocolate. And it has like a metallic finish. They're like a little more of an opaque, uh, glossy, like that super pretty color. And then this was uh, coconut macaron, macaroon, macaroon, double O's. Oh, wow. Yeah. And that's like a, a pretty uh, peachy rose gold kind of, t kind of color. Very similar to the other two. So those are still okay. This is from Urban Decay. I didn't hear really many people talk about this type of formulation. I was hoping this would be okay for lips and cheeks. This is in the shade Echo. It's a lip mousse. <laughs> so um, it's like a, it's still quite creamy. It's a really pretty mauve type color. It's very soft, very diffuse. I'm gonna keep that around just to see how I like it. Um, that's one thing I love about these types of videos is that it gets you kind of reacquainted with things that you haven't uh, been looking at. Yeah. Okay, so these are the two Gucci lipsticks. Uh, I'm going to tell you now, they're probably not going to go anywhere. The colors I have is the Royal Scandal and Carol Beige. Royal Scandal is an interesting um, kind of brownie, brownie type color. Very interesting. Um, do I feel they're worth the price tag and the adoration that everyone seems to love for them? Um, I don't know about that. Um, but I do love the packaging. Uh, and uh, this is the other nudie ones, like a peachier nude. Um, they're nice. Do I think they're worth the price tag and all the, as I said, the adoration? Don't know about that. Okay, this is from Revlon. This is the Superstar Brown. I feel like I'm having a lot of these types of brown colors. Um, this has more of a hint of um, mauve to it. Um, do I need it? Probably not. So I'll get rid of that. I'm going to tell you right from I'm going to be more apt to get rid of, uh, like, less expensive <laughs> right now. Um, this is the Mocha Licious. This is like a Broad Beauty Christy favorite. Um, I love how she uses it, but on me, it doesn't, um, it doesn't look as great. I do think it's pretty when I look at it on my hand. Uh, I'll start, I'll keep playing around with it, but, um, we'll see. So this is, uh, a little Mar NARS Velvet Lip Glide um, sample size. Really beautiful color. This is, uh, was it La Palace? La Palace. La Palace. Sure. Um, this is different than their, um, power mats. 
Really pretty red. Love that red. I just have to wear it more. Okay. Um, this is a Rouge Dior little mini in 999. It's a beautiful red shade. Didn't I say I wasn't going to swatch all these? Yeah, that's really beautiful. I know it's a little mini. Um, this is, I think, fairly old, to be honest with you. This is the Rouge that, when you've got Rouge status and renewed, this is from a little one from Marc Jacobs. No, I'll get rid of that one. This is a Melt. This is Boyer, one of my favorite shadow, or one of my favorite lipsticks. Um, I'm not going to get rid of that. I love that. Um, this is another lip gloss from MAC. Mm, might have turned. I'm going to back to MAC that. This is new to my collection. This is from their Powder Kiss Liquid Lip line. This is in the shade Max Smash. Gorgeous. I love this formulation. It's kind of a diffuse, um, very soft, powdery. Um, that's just brand new. To me, if you like this next one, the Rare Beauty, you'll probably like this formula from MAC. I wish they'd got, I wish MAC would get a little more credit. I know sometimes they're behind the eight ball or there's a lot of repetitive stuff, not gonna lie. This is the Rare Beauty, I like that. That's gonna stay. I love this one, Star Woman from NARS, that's gonna stay. This is Naturally Transformed, this is gonna stay as one of my favorite, again, kind of um, nudie, not nudie, it's like a, a yellowy brown color. That's not going anywhere either. Um, I don't know how I got this. This is from Lime Crime. It's one of their unicorn, um, but newly formatted, I want to say. Um, it's a really corally pinky red. I mean, it's pretty, but I have to be honest with myself. Am I going to wear it? No. So I'm going to get rid of that. Okay. Let's bring this bad boy in. Okay, so, oh, there's like dust. Uh, this is Truffle Teas from Maybelline. I think I'm gonna get rid of that. Let's see what else I got in here. This is Kava. This is, again, another Amuse Bouche. Lots of dust. That tells you how often I wear it. Um, I... I generally love this kind of color, that grayish, purpley beige. Sometimes it suits me, sometimes it doesn't. This is the Movember. Oh, this is old. I mean, really pretty shade, and I bought it to help towards it, but I'm going to get rid of it. So don't wear it. Uh, this is Thistle, part of an Amuse Bouche, similar to Kava. Uh, let's swatch it. Um, very similar, a little bit deeper. So this is Thistle, this is Kava. And this last one is Kale, I love this shade. This is like a dark, deep, foresty green. Yeah, love that. So those are some of my bites. This is one from Stila called Meg see why I maybe purchased a little narcissistic. Um, this is actually a really pretty shade. This is generally a shade that I like to wear. But, okay, so this is um, a Rouge Coco Rouge Noir from Chanel. Yeah. I mean, it's beautiful, but I've had it for such a long time. It's a beautiful, um, deep, blackberry type of shade. Um, I might just for reference, this one and this one, the Paris and the, they're both Rouge Coco, um, and they're both fairly old. So I might just see if I can get a newer one because these are both really beautiful and iconic. So I'll just keep those aside. 
This is the lip oil from Clarins um, in the shade Candy 04. Um, I don't really like these. I know a lot of people do. Um, I don't like to wear the oil, so I'm going to get rid of that one. This is a beautiful one from, this is the Velvet Lip Glide in Unlaced. Really pretty neutral pink. Let me keep that. Um, now we're getting to some limited edition type ones. This is Luster Siren Song. I loved this whole collection. Um, it's pretty light, but it is a luster. Have you turned? Like, it's more of a balmy. I just love the packaging. It had these all these water droplets on it that were... Um, I don't know if you want to say they were embossed, but they're definitely a th like a texture. You can feel them. Um, that's really... It's just quite pretty. These are from... Again, MAC. I have a lot of MAC, guys. So... You can chastise me all you want. Um, this is the mineral mineralized rich ionized. I thought it was such a cool, interesting color, like a gray, a gray type shade. This is the shade Spice It Up. Starting to get that crayony smell. Um, it has the wax bloom on it. I'm gonna back to Mac that. Um, this is shade Del Rio. This is a satin. Really beautiful color. It's like a rich, pigmented, um, burgundy brown. I feel like I have this shade. Uh, next one is Red Russian, or Russian Red, I should say. Iconic red color. It's so smooth. This one is Straight Fire Matte Lipstick. It does have a metallic sheen to it. Um, this is part of a, I want to say Christmas. Even though it's matte, it's got this beautiful sheen. I'm not too sure. But that's... That's an interesting yellowy brown. Happy Ruthless, y'all. Happy Ruthless. Okay. Some of these are limited edition and beautiful packaging. This is the Parenza Schuler. Um, this is the Wood Rose and it's Luster. Really pretty shade. It does have the bloom starting to bloom on it. Probably gone bad. But I'll just keep it. I love the... Um, the packaging on it. So Mac did really cool collabs. This is from YSL. This is the shade number one, Rouge Volupt. I remember when Samantha Ravendahl loved this and loved these. Um, the packaging alone is absolutely stunning. Um, I just couldn't get down with this shade, to be honest with you. It wasn't, it's not a very me shade, but the packaging, it's so luxurious looking. Oh, I just, it's hard to part with that, to be honest with you. Okay, this is from Ardency Inn. It's a really cool navy shade. It's a blackened navy. I love this. I don't know whatever happened to them. They were, like, I really enjoyed their products that I had. Didn't have a whole lot, um, but the ones I did were amazing. So this is another navy blue. This is a hashtag lip stories uh, in the shade City Beat. Again, another kind of a navy, creamy shade. Let's see how that compares. Yeah, it's just a little bit more of a muted kind of shade. A good navy, I think, is really pretty on, on people. I do enjoy these types of shades. Another hashtag lip stories from Sephora. This is called... Cash Money. So it's going to be a little bit different than that kale color. Definitely more on an olive kind of tone. Love these. I'm going to do, again, I'm going to do like a video of interesting like colors, like green. I've already done mustard and reds. Um, and part of that, I'm going to show this one. This is from, it's a liquid catsuit um, metallic from Wet n Wild. I thought this was such a cool color. This was, I think, at uh, Halloween. I thought, oh, so neat. I love that. This is Chili. It's another kind of iconic um, color from MAC. It's a warm, bricky, kind of terracotta color. 
This one is Yash. Um, it's interesting. This one is Mangrove. Very orangey kind of red. It's not really picking up. But really pretty. I like that a lot, actually. It's kind of a bright, this is a matte coral. It's like a corally orangey red. I like that. Oh, my poor hand. Okay. Um, Lady Danger, not going anywhere. Smells still fine. This is a Powder Kiss one. This is devoted to chili. So it's the chili color, but in the Powder Kiss um, formula. So that matte kind of diffused kind of color. This is Ruby Woo. Another beautiful red matte. Still good. This is a fresh brew not so big on this color it's a luster rid of it and this was influentially it which I think is a neat kind of deepening type color it looks like concealer lips not gonna lie but um, I think it's a neat color if you want to do a lightening up or an ombre and then lastly in this little bad boy is I'm glistening and this is another um, from a Mac it's a metallic brownie kind of color which I think is neat okay let's move on okay so this is part of um, it's kind of like the oil from this past summer's collection from NARS. Really pretty shade. I think this is Reef. It's like a bronzy. It's pretty light, um, but it's a nice oil. As I've already said, I'm not a huge fan of oils, but I like, I do like the color. It just gives me a nice sheen um, with a little hint of color. Oh, dust bunnies everywhere. Uh, this is, uh, again, another one of those uh, enamored uh, Marc Jacobs. I think, is this the, yeah. This is Sugar Sugar. I really like this. Um, really comfortable. It does have a mint kind of feeling. Uh, this is the Stay Satin in As If. Um, pretty. They're actually really nice colors. Uh, a nice formulation. Um, but I just don't wear it. So toss you. Uh, this one is from a tower. This is fairly new-ish this year. Um, this is not going to go anywhere. Uh, I think I think these glosses are are good. I don't again think they deserve the adoration. This is from Mac. This is again um, limited edition. It's that kind of light, peachy pinky kind of color. Hmm. What color are you? Feeling sentimental. I like the packaging. We'll see. Again, it's hard for me to let go of limited edition stuff. Okay, let's look here. So they're all going. Um, this is a vivid hot lacquer by Maybelline. Very pale in color. Um, and I probably won't wear it. So we're going to get rid of you. This is new from uh, Chanel. This is the Rouge Coco Flash in Deepness. What it does, it just deepens your color if you need some help. But it's a nice balmy texture. Um, and I like it actually on its own as well. So that's not going anywhere. Um, these are the Stay Satin. Again, I do enjoy this color. I talked about this in my kind of mustardy kind of tones and this is the shade take a chill pill that's not going anywhere and then the matte version of that is raw embrace that's not going anywhere <clears throat> I do have a few of these Sephora lip um, liquid lips I don't know if they've gone bad let's just have a little smell no but they do have a strong scent I do like this kind of foresty tealy green. Um, no, I think they're okay. I do I like them. Um, 
Yeah, I'll keep them for now. Dose of Color. This is sh Cold Shoulder. I love this. It's like a grayish kind of shade. A grayish purpley kind of shade. I think it's pretty unique. I think it's pretty cool. That's not going anywhere. And this is Los Angeles. It's like a corally red, really pretty color. I really enjoy that color too. It's kind of, it's a little more unique. It's got warmth to it, but very wearable. Um, I've mentioned these ones from Ebony. These are Frenchy. This is their iconic shade. I don't know if I need both. I'm going to get rid of the one that's opened. This one is still, still closed. I haven't used it yet, so um, I'll keep that one. I don't need a backup. This is the one from Sydney Grace. Uh, I got this in their mystery bag one year. This is Claire. Um, this has almost like um, a chocolatey creme brulee. It's a beautiful orangey kind of shade. That's really pretty. I don't have anything like that in my um, collection. It's like a, a little more of an opaque lip gloss. This is one from MAC. Um, they don't carry these anymore. I do enjoy the color though. This is the Vampify, Vampify, sorry, color, um, and acting on impulse. It is old, so I'm gonna back to Mac that. This is new, this is the Rouge Allure Ink Fusion. I'm gonna keep this one. I do like the feel of those, those are really nice. And this is one, another dose of color, Plum Queen. I found this at, uh, I think I found this like at Winners. Um, but I do like Dose of Colors um, formula. It's a really pretty plum. I'll see. It's really pretty. Okay, what else do we have in here? Okay. Some of these survived one decluttering already. I don't know if they're going to make another one. Okay, these are all from MAC. I loved this formula. I have many shades in it. Um, Innocent is one I wore all the time. They're like a balm with a tint. Um, well loved and used. I didn't really use the other colors as much, um, but I'm going to back to Mac these. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, these are two KVD beauty ones. Uh, the one's called Haze and Haze 2. Um, these were kind of named after uh, a muse, Jessica Hayes. I love, I love her aesthetic. I love her looks. These are shades that she loves to wear. She was also part of the um, KVD kind of artistry. I like these shades, but I don't know. I don't think I'll wear them, to be honest with you. So I'm going to get rid of those. I mean, they are really pretty. Okay, what else do we have in here? Uh, a little metallic one from a Smashbox, a metallic red, I think it's a liquid lip. I mean, really beautiful, beautiful deep dark red. Let's just see if I have another shade that's similar to you coming up. This is a uh, really nice lipstick from Burberry. Uh, these are, this is English Rose. Um, and they're kind of a balm. Again, I don't wear a lot of this shade. Burberry, I don't know what happened to Burberry. Um, but I do like their products. I mean, I because I don't have a lot of this shade, I'll keep it around. Just because it's a nice, soft, pretty shade. Okay, so this is a Bite Lip Matte Crayon. Um, this is the shade Glossé. I don't wear it. Again, it's along those kind of movie lines. Um, we get rid of her. What else do we have in here? This is the same thing, but in a little sample. I don't think I've even touched it. I mean, it's pretty. Um, I might just keep that one around. This is a matte um, velveteen, velvetees lipstick, lip pencil. Uh, very similar to like NARS. It's a deep kind of, oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I like that. I'll keep that around. This is like my only ColourPop I have left. I have decluttered many, many of them. This is a shade Wet. This is a pearlized. I don't think they even carry this anymore. And I thought it was such a cool color. It's like um, 
a metallic, bronzy, brown. Um, definitely has, I'm pretty sure it's gone bad, but I just thought the shade itself is like so cool. Um, but if I'm not going to use it, I mean, I could reference it. Let's just, uh, I'm so bad, uh, keep that. Um, this is another one of those uh, patent polish lip pencils um, that are kind of balmy. Sultana, this is like a grapey deep bronze. So it's a nice way to wear this um, or wear these kinds of shades without like the commitment. <sighs> I'm going to get rid of it. Okay. Then these bad boys. Um, this is the only thing I own from this particular company. Uh, these are very, very old. I will have to say the liquid lipsticks are actually really good. Um, I'm going to get rid of them just because of... This is a really beautiful red and this color was so neat at the time. Still has the root beer kind of smell to it. Um, yeah, I'm going to get rid of those. Okay, so that's cool.